Welcome to the 2015-2016 First Tech Challenge. Let's hear from our very first First Tech Challenge Dean's List Award winners. Getting started with a new culture can be a bit complex, but we're here to help you out. When Dean Kamen and Woody Flower started the first robotics competition, they wanted to incorporate the ethos of gracious professionalism. They recognized that training is a commodity, while education exemplifies the added value. True education is a wise integration of the initial training and inspiration. Our first programs are about the inspiration piece, the part that enables true education. The ideals of gracious professionalism tie education to success. Graciousness is about empathy, a greater understanding, and compassion. Professionalism is more about the rational side of your brain. Professionalism is about the deal that is made with society. Society gave professionals a bunch of special knowledge, and with great power comes great responsibility. Professionals have an obligation to give back to society and use that special knowledge ethically. Keeping gracious professionalism in focus is absolutely essential and sometimes really elusive, so first needs your help. Remember to treat everyone in your first community with respect and kindness and to always represent your best self. What you do is much louder than what you say. You're the transmitting medium for the GP culture. So go forth and represent the best of yourself in first. I could not have said it better myself. This season, First Tech Challenge challenges you to uphold and promote the core values of FTC. We display gracious professionalism with everyone we engage with and in everything we do. We act with integrity. We have fun. We are a welcoming community of students, mentors, and volunteers. What we learn is more important than what we win. We respect each other and celebrate our differences. Students and adults work together to find solutions to challenges. We honor the spirit of friendly competition. We behave with courtesy and compassion for others at all times. We act as ambassadors for FIRST and the FIRST Tech Challenge. We inspire others to adopt these values. And now, welcome to the first Tech Challenge and this year's game, First Rescue. A team consists of two drivers, a coach, and a robot. The robot must be built from materials specified in a game manual and fit within an 18-inch sizing cube. After the match starts, it can grow to any size. Each match is played with four randomly selected teams, two per alliance. Your alliance partner for one match may be your opponent in another. The game is played on a 12-foot square playing field with a foam tile floor and one-foot high walls. At opposite corners of the field are two mountains, each divided into red and blue climbing zones. Each mountain also has three alliance-specific goals. At the top of each mountain is an all-clear signal, which can be pivoted in either direction. A zip line is fastened to the side of each mountain. Three climbers are affixed to the zip line and held in position by stops connected to three triggers at different levels. Near the bottom of the zip lines are shelters mounted on the outside of the field wall. Next to the shelters are lighted rescue beacons with push buttons to control the color of the lights. In front of each beacon is a beacon repair zone. Between the beacon repair zones and mountains are taped off floor goals. There are eight more climbers in addition to the six climbers on the zip lines. Debris will also be introduced onto the field. This consists of 50 blocks 2 inch square and 30 balls 2.8 inches in diameter. The four robots are placed on the field in their respective alliance areas. They must touch the perimeter wall, but cannot touch the mountain or another robot. Teams may preload up to two climbers onto each robot. Then the field personnel randomize the rescue beacon lights and disperse the 80 pieces of debris onto the field. Each match begins with a 30-second autonomous period, followed by a two-minute driver control period, which includes a 30-second endgame. During the autonomous period, if a robot presses the Rescue Beacon Reset button corresponding to their alliance color, they earn 20 points. If their partner pushes the same button, they earn an additional 20 points for a total of 40. 
Robots should choose wisely. Selecting the wrong button earns points for the opponent. Each preloaded climber scored into an Alliance-specific shelter earns 10 points. At the end of the autonomous period, if a robot is parked within the floor goal or beacon repair zone, the Alliance earns 5 points. If a robot is parked partially on a mountain low zone, it earns 5 points, or 10 points if it's fully on the low zone. A robot parked in the mid zone earns 20 points. And if a robot can climb to a mountain high zone, it earns 40 points. During the driver control period, debris scored in the floor goal counts one point each. Debris scored in the mountain low goal counts five points each. Debris in the mid zone counts 10 points each. And debris in the high zone counts 15 points each. Climbers placed in the shelter are worth 10 points and climbers already in the shelter from the autonomous period are counted again for an additional 10 points each. Climbers that have slid down an Alliance's zip line are worth 20 points each. As in autonomous, robots parked on the mountain can be worth 5, 10, 20, or 40 points depending on the level attained. Only during the end game, the last 30 seconds of the match, may robots climb the cliff zone. Claiming an all-clear signal earns 20 points. And finally, if a robot can hang from the pull-up bar at the end of the match, it's worth 80 points. We want you to have fun and play hard at the competitions, but always remember gracious professionalism. There are penalties for teams that break the rules. For example, pinning another robot. blocking access to the mountain or floor goals, tipping over an opponent's goal, and controlling more than five game pieces at a time are also penalties. Please read both parts of the game manual and follow the Q&A game forum for the complete rules and penalties for first rescue. And again, remember your gracious professionalism. Have fun and good luck. Go First Tech Challenge.